Hey, what's good crew? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Noah back with another reaction video for you today. Now, if you are new, make sure you do become part of the Luxury We Stay Lit. I've been popping out all this content for you guys to keep you guys entertained during this quarantine, man. I'm gonna just be your best friend. It's that simple. But look, in this video right here, I'm about to be reacting to 15 unbelievable places that actually exist. All right? So now, I actually don't even know if it's gonna be talking about places. It could be like places within the universe or just on earth. I'm assuming this is gonna be places just on this earth, man. So without further ado, let's get straight to it, man. And these <clears throat> images are from the movie Avatar or perhaps some other distant Earth-like planet. It's hard to believe Bro, these what? places exist That's a burning on pit. planet. Here are 15 unbelievable places that actually exist. Number 15, underwater waterfall, Mauritius. Mauritius is known for Bro, does that shit even make sense? How does that work? Idyllic beaches and crystal clear sea. But there's an unbelievable phenomenon at the southwest corner of the island that appears to be an underwater waterfall. Bro, what? Despite how it looks, this isn't actually a flowing region of water, but instead an optical illusion. Oh, okay. happens because of the sea floor structure. I was gonna the say. The island sits on an ocean shelf, which is no more than 500 feet deep. At the edge of the shelf, however, it soon plunges down to depths of almost two and a half miles. Damn! What you're actually seeing in the underwater waterfall is not water <laughs> falling down into the abyss, but particles of Damn. sand that are being pushed over by the current. Do you not know how deep two and a half miles is? Damn, what the hell? And that's just a random two and a half miles deep. Worm Cave, New Zealand. New Zealand is one of the most scenic countries in the world, but beyond the peaks <laughs> Wait, of the what? mountain ranges, the deep valleys, and the glaciers, are a series of caves that seem to have come straight from a fairy tale. The reason for this is because they're home to glowworms, which are the larval forms of a species of fungus gnat that are endemic to the country. Known locally as titiwai, which means projected over water, Bro. the bioluminescence that's produced in the insect's abdomens is designed to attract prey, and happens as a result of a chemical reaction between the luciferase enzyme glowworms? and the luciferin. It creates one of the most stunning sights that you can see in the natural world. It makes for a magical boat ride through the cavern. Yeah, that's Thousands that's of fire, bro. Are active. That's so fire. Number 13, Tianxi Mountains, China. That should look like King Kong. China, Tianxi's mountains in the Hunan province are some of the most unusual mountain formations in the world. Covering an area of around 17,000 acres, they're made from quartz sandstone. Yeah, that's first different. to emerge from the earth about wow. 400 million years ago. The subsequent erosion of the rock has created these skinny mountains, which reach a peak of 3,976 wow, feet, different. and are named after the legend of a farmer who led a revolt against an oppressive regime who called himself the Son of Heaven. Where like the only way you could really maneuver around there is like through a zip line or a helicopter, because like there's no driving or anything, it's just a random- the Mountains are covered in mist, there's something mystical about them. And it's no surprise they were the inspiration for mountainscapes in movies like Avatar and are one of the most popular tourist destinations in the region. That's crazy, bro. Number 12, Grand Prismatic Spring, Wyoming, USA. The stunningly the colorful is? Grand Prismatic Spring is in Yellowstone National Park. Oh yeah, Yellowstone. The largest I know about this. In the US. It's like boiling it's water. A football field at about 370 feet wide, and with a depth of at least 160 feet, you could fit a 10-story building inside it. Damn. The spring is fed through a crack in its floor, through which as much as 560 gallons of water is released into it every minute. Its normal temperature is 160 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's because of this that it's surrounded by such vibrant rings. The color is created by the presence of microbes that live in hot environments. Sheesh. And depending on the time of year, you'll see reds, oranges, yellows, greens, Bro, that and looks blues. amazing, bro. What? No, Earth is Earth is amazing, man. Number eleven, Monte Roraima, Venezuela. We're so used to seeing natural formations that have irregular shapes that it seems almost impossible for something to have a rigid design to it. Monte Roraima in Venezuela isn't your ordinary mountain, though, and its twelve square mile summit is surrounded by thirteen hundred foot tall cliffs, almost in a square shape. Well, that's crazy. It's actually on a tripoint border between Venezuela, Guyana, and Brazil and has long been part of local <laughs> Wait, what? Bro, look at this. What? That, that low-key looks, man, bro, that looks freaking magical. Are you kidding me? Bro, it has like a waterfall, bam, 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 and it's square with, bro, what? 
How do you even get on top of that if it's a square with? Well, that's a, that's a, that's really and crazy. Capone people that is really believe it to be the stump of a giant tree that once bore all the fruits and vegetables in the world. And the seemingly unscalable cliffs have inspired a number of stories, including *The Lost World* by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and *Paradise Falls* from the movie *Up*. Number ten, Lake Retba, Senegal. On the northwest coast of Africa, about 18 miles northeast of the Senegalese capital Dakar, is a lake like anything you'll find elsewhere in the world. Called Lake Retba, it has an extremely high salt content, and this provides ideal conditions for Dunalayela salina algae to thrive. Wait, what? Which are bright red colored and make the water appear to be pink. <laughs> That's this crazy. unusual hue is far more prominent during the region's dry season between November and June, and the effect is accentuated by the magenta bushes that grow around its shores. Girl, that that means that means it's like with all that salt, that means it's like really really healthy for you to go in. Like, say you have like any scars, or like any wounds, like if you jump in that, then it'll be like is an important it'll heal it all economic up. center too, with thousands of people who rely on retrieving and selling the salt deposits, as well as fishing the waters. Catches here don't quite match up to what's possible in other lakes, however, because to survive in such salty water, the fish only grow to around one quarter the size they would do elsewhere. Mm. That's crazy. Number nine, Red Beach, Panjin, China. China is a country that's full of incredible geographic sites, but there's perhaps none as surprising as the Red Beach in Panjin. It's around the mouth what of the Panjing Shongchengzi River, where the soil is so alkaline that very few species of plant can grow. One that does particularly well is the Sueda salsa, which has a deep red color and is why the region oh, looks what? so remarkable. It was once thought that Mars was red because it was covered in crimson plants, and if that were Wait, true, what? the beach of Panjing is surely how it would have There's appeared. There's a whole field of red plants. With so many plants growing on the shores, the Red Beach is the largest wetland area in the world, and together with the largest reed marsh in Asia, which is also there, the whole region is a protected area of natural interest. Wow, bro. It's home to more than 260 different species of birds and more than 400 species of other types of animals, including the rare red-crowned crane and black-mouth gulls. Wow. But that looks amazing. That looks. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Top Five. Hey, yo, notifications subscribe to my own channel, man. Number eight, the Crooked Forest, Poland. Deep Bro, in a forest what? near the town of Grafino in Poland is a phenomenon that has confused researchers and visitors alike ever since it was first discovered. Called the Crooked Forest, there are an estimated 400 pine trees that have for Those some reason make grown sense. very differently to normal. It's thought that they were planted during the 1930s when the region was a part of Germany, and after emerging from the ground like usual, they bent towards the north for several feet before growing upwards again. Bro, what? It's not known why this has happened and why it's something that only these 400 trees have done. I need answers at this point. I need answers. What the hell? How does this There's work? There's a couple of theories. The first is that it's the result of human design perhaps because of a tool that was used when they were first planted, or the alternative suggestion is that they were all subject to a freak weather event, such as a snowstorm while they were young in their development. No records exist to support either theory, however, so it's quite possible we'll never know for certain. Yeah, you just gotta appreciate it for what it is. Number seven, Stone Forest, Madagascar. Madagascar is usually thought of as a place with an unparalleled Bro, if you've never amount seen this of biodiversity. Place, go down below my geographical video. features are equally impressive. The Stone Forest, which is within the Singi de Bamaraha National what Park, began life hundreds of millions of years ago as a lagoon. Limestone deposits formed on the bed and, due to tectonic activity, were lifted above the water's surface. As the lagoon receded, more limestone was revealed, and it was worn away by the monsoon rains over the following millennia. This, combined with groundwater erosion that formed caves that subsequently collapsed, has left a series of towers with canyons between them which has resulted in the largest such formation in the world. Its name means where one cannot walk barefoot, and that's an apt warning. These pillars, some of which are up to 2,600 feet high, are sharp Sheesh. enough to easily cut through flesh or equipment, so have to be traversed with the that utmost of care. That doesn't look too safe to me, <laughs> so like, I probably won't be doing all that. Number six, Lake Baikal, Russia. Lake Baikal, which is in southern Siberia, is the largest known freshwater lake in the world, which contains almost a quarter of our planet's non-saline surface water. At 5,387 feet deep, it's the world's deepest lake, and is also thought to be at the five, oldest at after 5,000 feet, that's a mile deep. That's around a lake. 25 that's million a mile years deep. ago. As you'd expect, there's a wealth of plant and animal life in the region, 
and it supports countless villages and tribes. But the thing that's particularly amazing about this place is what happens when it freezes over. Because it's formed in a valley, it's exposed to freezing winds that blow across its surface. And this leads to the creation of unbelievable ice structures wow. that are hard to believe form naturally. Methane bubbles are often trapped <laughs> in ice. Small particles are blown together, frozen, melted, and refrozen to join into unusual shapes. And rocks can even be seen sitting on their own icy pedestals. That doesn't make sense. Bro, how does that make heat. sense? How does that even work? This is one of the most serene and awe inspiring places on Earth. Yeah. Well worth a visit if you get the chance. I don't like the cold though, that's the thing. Number five, Richat structure, Mauritania. Also known as the Eye of Africa, the Richat structure is a strange formation in the desert rock near the small town of Oidane in Mauritania. The inverse dome is 25 miles in diameter and has exposed various layers of rock that appear like concentric rings. Wow. It's one of the easiest natural structures to see from space. But amazingly, it's very hard to see from ground That's level. Crazy. And if you were hell? there, you'd probably be unable to notice anything different about it from the surrounding land. Quite how it was formed has been the subject of scientific debate ever since it was first discovered in the 1930s. The first assumption was that it's an impact crater from a meteorite, but the lack of evidence of any superheated rocks has ruled this out. Instead, it's been formed by millions of years of erosion of softer rock that was probably deposited but during like, a time when the region was underwater. Like, why there? And why is there only one? You know what I mean? Like, but why this it has to be in such a circular fashion is still unclear. Yeah. There are ridges and valleys that follow the concentric lines of the Richad structure. I need the answers, man. Found that humans have lived here for hundreds of thousands of years. Ancient artifacts have been unearthed that date back to the Stone Age, such as tools and spears. Strangely, however, none have been found at the center of this depression, which also discounts any possibility that this was a prehistoric mine of some sort. With such delicate rock, there are calls to make the structure a protected site to ensure it can be studied for years to come and, hopefully, reveal some of the secrets as to how this strange place came to be. Yeah, I need those secrets, bro. I need them. Number four. Fly Geyser, Nevada, USA. Oh, what? Fly Geyser looks like it would be at home on an alien Bro, planet. what? Bro, so look at that. That reminds me, like, when I when I used to play Fortnite or whatever, that reminds, they used to have those geysers that, like, that blew the player up and out so they could fly and stuff like that. Well, that's crazy, bro. That looks... That's, miles north of the to town think about the Bear fact Rock that it's Nevada. natural, what? Although you might think this to be a natural formation, it actually is the result of human activity when a well was drilled in 1916 oh, okay. with a view to irrigating water. It's a result of human activity. Due to the geothermal activity in the region, the water was close to boiling point, so the well was abandoned. But a calcium carbonate cone began to form around the opening. A second hole was dug in 1964 by an energy company, but the water wasn't hot enough for their needs, so they abandoned it too. And the structure that formed around it is what we see but today. But look at those colors, man. It has a number of openings which the water shoots five feet high out of. And the entire structure is currently between 25 and 30 feet tall. Various platforms and pools have also been created across 74 acres. But the water's unusually high silica content and the presence of algae that thrive in the conditions are responsible for the multi-colored deposits that have solidified around it. And because it's heated to a temperature of around 200 degrees Fahrenheit, That's it produces quartz, something, something that usually takes 10,000 years to happen in other geysers. Even though there are a couple of other geysers nearby that have been formed in a similar way, none are as large or as impressive as the fly geyser is. Therefore, one of a kind and something you won't see anywhere else in the world. Number three, Nica Mine, Mexico. What's the biggest crystal you've ever seen? Well, however large you thought it was, it's nothing compared to what <laughs> a team of miners discovered Yo, near Nica in Chihuahua, Mexico. What? In 1910, a cavern nah, was found what? at a depth of 390 feet, which has become known as the Cave of Swords. And to their astonishment, it was full of gypsum crystals that were up to three feet three Wait, inches long. Wait, so long. now, like, these crystals are valuable, right? Like, you could just... Can Ninety I just... years later, another mining crew took things a step further when they were drilling a new shaft and found the giant crystal cave, wow, bro. which itself was 980 feet beneath the like, surface. Like, can I just go there, mine some shit up, become a millionaire, and it's like... This cave had once been flooded with hot water, which allowed minerals to deposit in crystalline structures. The largest of the crystals to have been seen was 39 feet long, 13 well, feet look wide, real. and thought to weigh as much as 55 tons, which makes it the largest one ever to have been found. 
Conditions in the cave aren't exactly inviting to people, though. With temperatures reaching 136 degrees Fahrenheit and a 99% humidity, Damn. humans can only be in there for up to 10 minutes without full safety equipment. Mm. Even if you were prepared for this, it's not possible to visit the cave currently. After a robber tried to steal a crystal and ended up suffocating and dying, <laughs> it was shut permanently Wait, that's not funny. to I'll be laughing at water in the hope that the crystals can be preserved and continue to grow until improved methods of exploration become available. That's 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 so much, bro. The, I know there's a certain group of people that's taking crystal from there. They just don't want anyone else to take hog their crystals and shit. They they're not trying to share. They're trying to be filthy rich. Number two, the gates of hell, Turkmenistan. This is confusing. Not only is the existence of the gates of hell in Turkmenistan hard to believe, but the way it was formed is perhaps even more difficult to believe. If you had visited this place near the village of Devasa 50 years ago, it would have looked just like the surrounding Karakum Desert, with sand stretching out in every direction. Oh my gosh, bro. In the 1970s, the country that was part is something of the Soviet Union, and the authorities were on a campaign to identify all areas of natural resources that could be mined and used to support the growing population. In 1971, geologists arrived in the area and believed the ground below to contain a cavern that was full of oil. So they set up a test rig to drill down and take further measurements, but soon found there to be a large pocket of gas just beneath the surface. Now, there are no official Russian or Turkmen records of what happened next, but according to the sources close to operations at the time, the ground collapsed beneath the rig and swallowed the drill, as well as several top Soviet scientists. Wow. The remaining researchers were now faced with a problem. They could detect large quantities of methane being released from the hole they had just created and believe this to be a possible health hazard. Their calculations suggested that the best way to deal with it was to burn the gas and that it would run out within a few weeks. <laughs> it yeah, was then decided work. to throw a grenade into the hole and the gates of hell was Bro, born. they saw a hole that had gas, so they were just like, yo, let me just throw all this, let me set it on fire, throw a couple grenades, and hopefully we'll get rid of it. Is that... I don't sound the smartest, but uh, all right. Someone calculated it wrong. Someone because since that day. <laughs> someone calculated. Yeah, damn right. Someone calculated that shit wrong, bro. To go, the hole is continually yeah, that's burned. That's crazy. The crater is now approximately 230 feet across and 66 feet deep. Number one, Caño Cristales, Colombia. The Caño Columbia. Cristales is a small tributary river that feeds into the Guayabero River of Colombia. But due to its unique plant life, it's also commonly referred to as the most beautiful river in the world. Honestly, the fast bro, flowing what? water passes through a region that's on the edge of the Amazon rainforest, the Andes, and that the eastern Llanos, and, and is amazing. almost perfectly clear. The riverbed has numerous holes and dips in it because of the way the rocks caught in the current erode the bedrock. And this has produced the ideal locations for a species of plant called Macarena mm. clavigera to grow. During the summer months, wow. it takes on a gloriously red hue and also provides shelter for other species to grow that adds yellows, greens, blues, and blacks into the mix. It's no wonder that this place is also affectionately known as the liquid rainbow and is so unusual that many visitors still can't believe that it's real, even when they're standing right next to it. Well, that view looks like magical. Subscribe to Top Fives for more. Wow, man. Honestly, most of those places I didn't know. Like, I know about that hole. But, like, there were a good amount of places that I really didn't even know about before, man. That's why I like and I enjoy watching these videos because, like, it educates you. You know what I'm saying? Like that. But, look, if you do watch this point of video, make sure you do like and subscribe, man. I'm going to catch you in the next one the same way you're going to catch me in the next one. Peace.